وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. If one fulfills all the prerequisites or the conditions of repentance, then the repentance is accepted. They need to feel in the heart that they have done with sincerity enough tawbah that they are pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they are hopeful that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would be showing his mercy and accept the repentance. It is just the satisfaction of the heart. But after fulfilling all the conditions, so there are four conditions, three for each, one for a specific case with regards to Hukukul Ibad. Hukukullah and Hukukul Ibad. Rights of Allah, rights of people. If one violates any of that, they had to make tawbah, repentance. That's the wrong action they've committed. They have to return back. Number one, they have to have a sense of remorse in their heart. Regret about it. They must be feeling bad that they've done something wrong. And nadam. One has to have that feeling of regret in their heart. Second, they must stop that sin immediately. You can't be carrying on a sin and yet saying, Tawbah, Ya Allah, I want you to forgive me. It has to be that you stop that immediately. Third is that you have firm resolve to never do that sin again. Never ever go back to that sin again. That's a firm resolve at the time of Tawbah. Regardless of, one can maintain that afterwards, but they, at that point, they must have a true conviction that they would never go back to that sin again. And with regards to the rights of people, there's one extra condition, these three plus this fourth one, which is compensate for whatever you have done to the people whatever mistakes you've made, you've taken some money out of someone's pocket, you have to return it back, you've slandered, you have done something wrong to someone, go and seek their forgiveness. Once someone has done that with sincerity and they tried their best, they should feel happy that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they should be contented that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would accept their tawbah. Now, once that's done, they should ignore that sin. And forget about that. They try to ignore it. Move yeah. on. But as and when in future they ever remember that sin, then they just make one extra tawbah and say, Allah forgive me. I know I've done that wrong thing. I don't want to go back again. But then, rather than keep thinking and getting obsessed with that sin, because then it would be a counterproductive action. The shaitan or the nafs would want you to be keep thinking about that. No, move on. Have mercy in Allah, uh, have trust in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hope in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive all your sin. O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, قُلْ لِعِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ Tell my people, my servants, those who have wronged themselves, they have cause trouble to themselves by committing sin. La taqnatu min rahmatillah. Do not be despondent in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not be hopeless with the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna Allah yaghfiru dhunuba jami'a. Indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive all the sin. Inna Allah I think one of those. In the Lord. In the Lord, for the Nuba Jamia, in the Allah who are for Rahim. Indeed, Allah is most forgiving, oft forgiving, and most merciful. So have that hope. Once you've done that, then you hope you'll be okay. Now, how do we know there's another hint to that? That slowly and slowly, you are doing better. You make a mistake, 
<coughs> you sleep again, you make tawba. You never t- go back to that. But you still try your best. But every so often, you make a mistake. And if you tried your best, but every time you make a mistake, you feel even worse and make even more sincere tawba. As long as you continue with this repeated cycle of tawbah and tawbah and tawbah, stay on the taqwa path, making a mistake, tawbah. You do not lose hope in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because that is kufr, that is disbelief. To think that, oh, I've got too much sin to my account, Allah is not going to forgive me because now you're then challenging Allah's mercy. Oh, Allah can't forgive me because I've got huge mountain of sins. Now the believer, you think that your sin is bigger than the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Both of those are kufr. You cannot become. That's why Allah says in the Quran, لا تيأسوا من رحمة الله. Do never become, become despondent from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? The despondence is only for the disbelievers. Those who do not believe in Allah, obviously they're not going to get anything back from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment. Because you never believed them in the first place. He did never believed in him, so why would you ask him for anything? So I have to have a faith, clear faith in that. May Allah hope it make it easy.